So this is kind of an impromptu video on my part, but I thought I would share my experiences with check systems and explain what it is and what in the world you can do about anything that might end up on that list. So first of all, what is check systems? Check systems is basically, in short, kind of like a credit report from banks to tell other banks if you've defaulted on your checking or savings accounts. It's a little more in depth than that, but that's a short story there. And how I found out about them is because back about 12 years ago, I had a checking account whose name shall not be mentioned, but I'll just put the logo right here. Who refused to do something about fraudulent activity on my bank account, and I said I was not going to pay that. I thought I would just walk away and there would be nothing else said about it, right? Wrong! It turns out, just like if you default on a credit card or a loan or anything like that, it ends up on some kind of credit report, and this is a special kind of credit report that tells all the other banks that, hey, you are not a creditworthy risk. You cannot be trusted to handle a bank account because you will take that money and run. So the next time that I wanted to open a checking account, I was told that I couldn't get one because I had defaulted on this checking account, which again, not my fault, but because it was on this list, the bank said no. And I kept going to bank after bank after bank and being told the same thing. I kept getting told no, no, no. So I eventually had to start calling around asking if there were banks that did not look at check systems or didn't care if check systems had something on there. And believe me, not having a checking account in the 21st century is not going to be a pleasant time. You need a checking account because you get direct deposits, you have ACH withdrawals from various bills that you have to pay, it is a nightmare how to deal with prepaid cards. Oh my goodness, you have no idea the struggles that I went through for years. And I was fortunate enough to have a couple of banks along the way still offer me a checking account despite having something on my check systems report, but they usually came with some sort of fee of about $10 a month, which is not great, but if you're poor and you have something in a check systems account, then you might just have to pay it. But it was really annoying having to call around going, hey, do you have to check my check systems report? Hey, do you have to check my check systems report? You have no idea how much time I spent on the phone, walking into different branches, asking that question. It was very embarrassing. So today I came across a situation where I needed to put money in my bank account. And unfortunately, because of this situation, my bank account is in Boston, which is about 950 miles from where I currently live. So the only method I really have to do that is to put that into Cash App and then deposit that into my bank account. But unfortunately, Cash App wasn't working for whatever reason. So I had no other methods in which to do this. Someone suggested, why don't you just get a bank account here locally? Well, because I have something on my check systems report. But it got me thinking, why is it 12 years later, I still have to deal with this like I am some sort of fucking thief? So I went online, I checked my consumer report with check systems, and I'll put a link down in the description so you can go do it too and see what's on there. It is completely free. You just answer some identifying questions and you'll see exactly what banks see whenever they load up that report. And lo and behold, I found out it's not there anymore because after five years, those items that get reported to the check systems fall off. Which does make some sense because it's like with your regular credit reports, after seven years, they typically fall off. Why should it not be the same with check systems reports, right? But no one along the way ever told me this. I would just tell a bank, look, I have something in my check systems report. They would do their little and then say, we can't give you a checking account. And I never knew. And it was also today that I found that there are actually two different kinds of reports that are apparently reported to banks. There's one that is exactly as described. It is a list of whether or not you've defaulted on your previous checking accounts. And then there's another one that's basically like a credit score that is based off of what they find off of TransUnion. I didn't even know that part existed until today. So yeah, if you have something on your check systems report, you're probably screwed for the next five years. But after that five year period, you can go get a checking account again. It is not forever. And if you're like me and you have something on there that shouldn't be on there because it is no fault of your own, you have options. I'm not entirely sure what those options are, but one of the banks that I talked to today did inform me that there were options. You just need to be informed of what they are. So if you're like me and you have something that's on there that shouldn't be on there because it was fraudulent or something along those lines, go to a local bank and tell them, look, I want to open an account with you, but I can't because I have this on there. They may be willing to work with you and actually assist you in disputing that particular line item on the check systems report. 
In this particular case, the local bank that I dealt with was actually very nice and explained to me that I had options to dispute that before they loaded my check system report. That's why I got the idea to even bother to look at my report was because of that bank. I wanted to know if it was even still on there. They're the ones who informed me, look, it may not even be on there at all at this point. You told me it was 12 years ago. So poor people, you are with options. You either wait the five years or dispute it. Those are your two options that you basically have. I hope this video has been somewhat helpful for you. If this applies to you, if it doesn't apply to you, why are you here? If you found this video helpful, be sure to hit that like button, the subscribe button, and hey, maybe we'll see each other in the future. You never know, I took one of my viewers to a strip club once.